Socrates was born, as far as we know, in Athens around 469 BC. According to Plato, Socrates' father was Sophroniscus, a sculptor and stonemason, and his mother was Phaenorite, a midwife. His family was respectable and decent, but humble in means. He appears to have had no more than an ordinary Greek education. Reading, writing, gymnastics and music, and later, geometry and astronomy, before devoting his time almost completely to intellectual interests. He is usually described as unattractive in appearance and short in stature, and he apparently rarely washed or changed his clothes. But it is not clear how Socrates earned a living. Some sources suggest that he continued the profession of stonemasonry from his father. He apparently served for a time as a member of the Senate of Athens, and he served and reportedly distinguished himself in the Athenian army during three campaigns in Potidae, Amphipolis and Delium. However, most texts seem to indicate that Socrates did not work, devoting himself solely to discussing philosophy in the squares of Athens. Using a method now known as the Socratic method or Socratic dialogue or dialectic, he grew famous for drawing forth knowledge from his students by pursuing a series of questions and examining the implications of their answers. Often, he would question people's unwarranted confidence in the truth of popular opinions, but usually without offering them any clear alternative teaching. Aristophanes portrayed Socrates as running a sophist school and accepting payment for teaching, but other sources explicitly deny this. Whatever the motivation, he was found guilty by a narrow margin of 30 votes out of the 501 jurors of impiety and corrupting the minds of the youth of Athens, and he was sentenced to death by drinking a mixture containing poisoned hemlock in 399 BC at the age of 70. Although he apparently had an opportunity to escape, he chose not to, believing that a true philosopher should have no fear of death that it would be against his principles to break his social contract with the state by evading its justice, and that he would probably fare no better elsewhere, even if he were to escape in exile. 